Hi everyone, in this video we're going to run through how to use the layers panel in Glorify. Let's head over to the layers panel on the top right, click layers, and you can see you have one single canvas currently on the uh, page. Now once you hit this drop down, you can actually see the different elements inside of the canvas. That's how the mechanics of Glorify works. If I select an element in Glorify, like this element or layer here, it'll be appear inside the canvas until I drag it out. Once I drag it out, notice how on the layers panel, it has moved outside of the canvas. If I drag it back in, outside, inside, outside, inside. It's really important to know that whatever's inside your canvas will be visible in the final export. Whatever is outside of the canvas, and you can confirm in the layers section, it's outside. Even if it's slightly overlapping, doesn't matter. You can see now it's overlapping on the canvas, doesn't matter because it's still outside. If something is outside, then it won't be a visible in the final export. In fact, if you bring it in, as you can see, it gets cut by the canvas area. So to confirm if something's really inside the canvas or not, you'll notice that it gets, it's only visible inside the canvas area. Perfect. So that's how the Glorify layers mechanics work. Every element in Glorify has its own icon to identify in the layers panel. For example, here, this is an image layer. These are shapes. This is a rectangle. This over here is a group. A group consists of many elements grouped together. It's very simple to create groups. For example, I can select these three shapes. I'm going to hold shift and select multiple shapes to multi-select all of them. I can then go to the toolbar over here at the top and pick an action. In this case, I'd like to group, which is this one over here. I can also use my keyboard shortcut command G, or I can even right click to go into the contextual menu and click group. For now, I'll use the toolbar. Notice how it added all these three elements inside the group. When something's grouped together, you can drag it together and you can move it all around, but you can also double click to enter the individual layers inside the group. Notice how the group has been expanded. And as I double click, I can select any individual element. I can now move this element and change the position. And, and once I click off, it'll, it'll save the group in that state. This is a great way of quickly editing your groups. Overall, we make it really easy to identify the different elements in your canvas and allow you to quickly select them, especially when you have lots of overlapping layers. It's a useful way of selecting something you can't reach. The layers panel works in the exact same way if you're in an infinite page too. So let's switch this canvas to an infinite page, draw a second canvas, and you can notice a new canvas has been created over here, canvas number two. If I expand it, you'll notice the rectangle that I've created inside. I can now hide this canvas and focus on this one. I'll duplicate elements. I can duplicate elements from my canvas, bring it over to my new canvas, and notice how it goes inside of the canvas area. If I drag it outside, it ends up outside of the canvas. Inside ends up inside. Finally, you can explore all the other actions in your layers panel. For example, you can lock items. If you lock items, you cannot select it no matter what, unless you go to the layers panel and unlock it. Notice how the layer is locked with this label over here. We'll go ahead and unlock it to make it selectable again. You also have the hide icon, which is available next to each layer, as well as on the tool panel. You have the duplicate layer. You have the download layer. If you want to download a single element immediately in a simple PNG format. And you have the delete option to delete the layer. That's it for exploring the layers panel. Use the layer panel to your advantage to make sure you have full control of your designs. See you in a future tutorial. Bye for now.